badness. This is, you know, uh, Great Gatsby. Doesn't oh, this yeah. look like the car from Great Gatsby? Oh, yeah, it does. And then the sports car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when you do a thing, it's got three lights. So you can see. Yeah. It's good. Oh, this is the real deal. Then look, it went all crazy on the spec on this one over here. The green rims. It was, a, it was a real thing in the 40s. Oh, was it was it? Yeah. Yeah? Mm. Uh huh, okay. Um, it's just what they did, really. Yep. If you'd made it, realistically, you had green rims. Okay, right. Mm. Mike and Mac. Mm. Mike and Mac. Depends mm. on whether Lord Hamish decides. It, yeah, exactly. It to come if he approves, then. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're in Italy. So we're surrounded by a racetrack called Bellocco, which is why I'm wearing this. And I'm actually even going to put this on because we are doing what's called the Alfa Romeo Driving Academia, which means we're going on some... What was I? I got, I got <laughs> lost there. Some car, and we're not going on them. We're going in the cars around Bellocco test track, which has 26 uh, tracks within it. 80 kilometers of um, track, and it's a track. <laughs> I think that, uh, you know, it's more or less what? What? because. What? I know my stats. Anyways, <laughs> now, let's get started, shall we? Tracks long, big, long straight, and very technical. It was very nice. Apparently we're drifting later, and the weather's really good, so that's perfect. And you can see the Mont Blanc mountain in the background, so we're winning at life already. A lot of alphas behind us. Obviously, we're working with Alpha for this video, which is fantastic, so thank you to them. This is the kind of opportunity that I would come to, and I would actually probably pay for to go on, because we're getting to go on a racetrack with racing instructors, and I love this kind of stuff, and I would love to be able to do more. So I'm so, so, so happy, and just honored that we can actually be here, and that it's not costing a penny, so whoa! <laughs> We're gonna try and drift a 4x4 four-wheel drive. Obviously it's four-wheel drive, it's a 4x4. Four four. <laughs> well, that was fairly amazing. I didn't think I would ever be able to drift a 4x4, four four, but they've got this new four-wheel drive system which gives all of the torque to the rear wheels. So when you want to, you can actually have loads of fun when you take the traction off. But next up, we're actually gonna try the Julio behind and try and do exactly what you're seeing behind me right now, which should be pretty fun, because that is purely two-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive. The braking system on these cars, it's a whole new system, which Alpha were the first people to use, they premiered it, and no one's really doing it since. They've combined basically three pieces into one while still retaining the pedal feel, and it's, it's actually very impressive. I'm not just saying that, it's genuinely pretty cool. But I'm just really hoping we get to go into Julia Quadrifoglio in dynamic mode while it's a bit wet. That's, fingers crossed. Okay, we're here the Julia Quadrifoglio, but we're going in a, well, I would say straight line, but we're going around a corner. We're not drifting this time. We are on track in this 510 horsepower beast. Now, I am a massive fan of these cars. I've been lucky enough to daily one when I was in Dubai, daily one in London, and then also drift one on ice, drift one on road, and then now drive one on track. Now massive braking zone here, the brakes are really good, whether you've got the optional carbon ceramics or the steels, obviously the optional carbon ceramics are better, so if you can get those, I would highly recommend getting those. You might see someone flying around in the back there, that's Cole, he's all over the place. <laughs> But the gearbox is absolutely awesome on this car as well. I mean, a lot of modern cars have very, very good gearboxes now, but this really, with the noise change it makes as well, it changes the, the sound of the car on upshifts. It's awesome. So that's very, very cool and adds so much character. And for me, in terms of a four-door sedan, this is the one which by far has the most character. The grip is awesome as well. And it's still so, so usable. Now, I am a big fan of this car. Driving it on track has only made me love it even more. It's always so hard to do this talking and driving at the same time and concentrate, especially when it's a brand new track that you don't know very well. But yeah, this car feels 
so so good around here I mean it was developed here the Balocco racetrack this is where a lot of the Alfa and the Italian family of cars get developed so it's very cool to be here it's playing around a little bit so we've got it on the DNA right now you've got dynamic natural and all weather I believe it's called and right now we're in dynamic so I'll let you play around a bit but not too too much Wow, it's so much fun anyways that's my quick little review of this car I hope you guys liked it I am certainly having a brilliant time we're gonna see if I can concentrate enough to answer some of your Q&A questions so Cole in the back you can follow him on Instagram will be down below is gonna rattle off some of your questions and let's see how this goes okay I'm ready so question number one no, what is the legal minimum tread on a tire in the UK uh, four millimeters <laughs> I have no idea. I have no, when, when the policeman tells you. Going off. through a lot of tires, and if that was the case, okay. Next question. Uh, what is twenty-two times nine plus four? Twenty-two plus nine. Uh, that is thirty-one. Twenty-two times nine plus four. Times nine. Uh, twenty-two times ten would be two hundred and twenty minus twenty-two would be 198 plus 4, 202. All right, we'll have that. Um, next question, uh, this car or the Alpine? Uh, this car or the Alpine, I don't know, different purposes. If I had a lot of friends, which I don't, <laughs> I would say this car, but currently I'm very happy with the Alpine. So if you had to choose, uh, yeah. Carrera GT or a Zenvo? Carrera GT or a Zenvo, Carrera GT without a shadow of a doubt. If you had, if you, Yep. <laughs> if you uh, if you could only have one color for all of your cars for the rest of your life, which one would it be? Rosso Fuoco, Ferrari color. Yeah. We've gone into dynamic mode, so this is going to get interesting. Yeah. Right, can you please recite the alphabet backwards? Um, Z, X, U, V, Q, um, T, S, R. I don't know. I'm lost. I have no idea. <laughs> That's impossible to do right now. No, I can't. Is the answer. <laughs> We're doing 230 kilometers right now. Ah! Next question. Around there. How many G's can a Formula One car pull in the modern day? Um, four. Four G's. I don't know. I think so. Do you know? Yeah, I think it's four. Four. Nice. Yes. Nailed it. Um, and since we're in the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio, yep. name five statistics about it. Um, it's a twin turbo V6, has over 500 horsepower, not 60 in under four seconds, I think. It does close to 200 miles an hour and it's rear wheel drive. <laughs> it stops it, you start sliding and then it stops the car. It's a really interesting feeling. 